Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do. Never goes unnoticed. Uh, thank you very much. I hope you're doing all right and may you stay blessed. Find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Say hi, we'll say hi back. Our vlogging channel Fanny and Jesse 2.0. We might be posting this coming December. Not sure yet, but subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out. So today I'm going to be reacting to Sadguru one's Elon Musk cares why. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. So I'm a big fan of Elon Musk and uh, he's uh, on interplanetary travel and uh, that's what's on the card. You also going to Mars? No, not yet. <laughs> I, I don't have so much money. <laughs> but uh, so he's... Uh, He's talking about evolution of human beings. He's, he wants to be buried on Mars, right? Uh, I think the last time we evolved was more than 15,000 years ago and we may be due for an update. Where do you think the human race is going to go in the next 100 or maybe even 500 years and how do you think we're going to upgrade? How are we going to evolve? I, I don't want to comment on Elon Musk. Well, he's made a nice car. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the first one that he made on the Lotus platform, yeah. So that was faster than a Ferrari, I drove that one. So I have no complaints about him. But <laughs> he must restrict himself to cars, maybe airplanes, maybe even a rocket. But he shouldn't talk about human mechanism, it's a different matter. See, there's substantial evidence, neurological evidence, this question has been on for a long time. Can we evolve into another place? A whole lot of people asking, can we make a bigger brain so that we could act better, we could be more intelligent, we could do many more things. So neurologically, certain neuro neurological uh, scientists have explained this. See, if you want to increase the capacity of this brain, one thing is you must pack more neurons. This is how a lot of children are born with excess neurons. Those are the children who are hyper, very brilliant, but hyper and unstable. Well, the moment today doctors see them, they pounce on them and uh, because medical industry is a big industry, they are always looking for a victim. And uh, pharmaceutical industry is the second largest industry, so they pump something into it, they give some name ADD, ADH, ABC or XYZ. All the twenty-six alphabets have been expanded like this. But when a child is like this, this is not abnormal, this is normal. A whole lot of children are born like this, that there is excess neurons in the brain. If you just put the child to a lot of physical activity, sleep and physical activity, proper physical activity, you will see by the time he's six or eight years of age, he will adjust himself. The body does its own thing to make sure it kills the excess neurons and manages itself. But before that, if you put them on sedatives and that kind of stuff, for a lifetime they may become dependent on the medication. Having said that, another way to enhance your brain capacity is to increase the size of the neuron. If you increase the size of the neuron, the capacity of the brain could expand big time. But right now as you sit here in a restful condition, more than twenty percent of your energy is being consumed by your brain. Your brain is only this much, hardly two pounds. This much body, this much body consumes only eighty percent. This consumes twenty percent sitting here. If you increase the size of the neuron, the kind of energy that it will demand, the body cannot sustain. So this is what the neurological assessment is. But Adi Yogi, over fifteen thousand years ago, said something very unique. People asked the same question. So Adi Yogi said, see you can learn to use your existing capacity, capacities in a much higher way than the way you're using it right now. If you become more and more conscious, your body and brain, you can use it in many, many more ways than they're using right now. But if you have to physically or physiologically evolve, then the way the planetary systems are, some change needs to happen in the solar system because solar system is like a potter's wheel. It has spun this and it has reached its peak. 
How we know it's reached its peak is, if you know something about the geometry of the solar system, you know the… the diameter of the moon and the distance between the earth and the moon is hundred and eight times, and the diameter of the sun, you know those things. So, if you look at the human system, there are one hundred and fourteen junction points or chakras as they are called. The first uh, two are outside the physical body, so we usually don't talk about it unless it's for some mystical purposes. So, hundred and twelve, out of that hundred and twelve, four of them, you cannot do anything of, about them. They… if you take care of the hundred and eight, the remaining four operate by themselves, they have an intelligence of their own. We cannot do anything about it. So, one hundred and eight is what is available to you. Seeing this, he says, see, hundred and eight is already available to you. So, the geometry of the solar system is like this. Unless some structural change happens in the solar system, you cannot evolve physiologically any further. But your ability to use the same thing in better and better ways is always available to you. So, if you're planning to grow this along with Elon Musk, uh, <laughs> no, but can you learn to use this better? Are we not always learning to use this better, both body and mind, huh? aren't we? Some people, of course, uh, downgrade themselves as time goes by, some people are upgrading themselves, isn't it? It's possible if you're willing. Willingness means if you have to be truly willing, you have to be conscious. If you're unconscious, you have become unwilling unknowingly. An interesting point of view. Um, my question is always, how can you help someone if you can't help yourself? Hence, how can we evolve when what we haven't yet... How can we evolve beyond this when we haven't evolved enough for this life that we're living right now? You know, there's so many things we can achieve. I think that's why he mentioned is this consciousness or awareness. We have to be aware of what's happening first within us, around us, you know. Being aware um, teaches you one or two things. Sometimes once you're aware, you're aware that, okay, if I go talk to my sister, she's going to say this, she's going to make me upset. If she says this, she's going to make me upset. You know, all those simple examples you can think of in life. When you're aware that if someone does this, it's going to affect you in this way, not in this way, and you're able to control that, I think um, little by little you evolve in some way, you know. Um, I, I don't know, you know, what Elon is doing is insane, you know. What do people actually have to say about him wanting to be buried on Mars? Or people even migrating to Mars and which people is he going to find everyone on earth to go to Mars or who's going to be put first you know um it's a lot of things but what Elon is trying to do is um, if you guys have watched the hundred then you would know how um, such a thing happens people were able to live in space for quite a long time others um, found a home on the moon others I'm trying to remember it's been a while you know there's all these things that's why I always say the movies we watch are they just movies or these movies are trying to tell us something or is this how the world is going to be in future you know there's many, many things. Don't just watch movies for the sake of uh, watching movies. Sometimes pick up on what they throw in there, you know. Pick one or two things. There's always something movies are throwing in there that we just sometimes may not be aware of. Otherwise, like I said, it was an interesting point of view. Let me know what you guys actually think. Big shout out to the person that asked me to react to Sadhguru. Uh, if there's anything else you want me to react to, just let me know down below. Just give me the name or the link and I'll be sure to check it out. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.